This Lockheed F-104, in terms of armament, wingspan, rate of climb, is the same fighter that has already won itself worldwide recognition. But look closely, a tail hook. For this airplane, a new capability. That hook means the F-104 can now operate from the newest concept in strategic air power, a runway that can be laid in less than 72 hours, practically anywhere, then picked up and moved elsewhere. United States Marine Air Base at El Toro, California, a series of exhaustive tests was conducted to prove compatibility of the F-104 and the new short-length portable airstrip. Basically, the system includes a 2,000-foot runway composed of rectangular aluminum mat sections and an arresting device. Tests of a catapult system, similar to this one with a heavier aircraft, had already been completed elsewhere. Site preparation for the arrestment tests, paralleling a conventional 10,000-foot runway at El Toro, involved minimal grading and filling. Mat sections are delivered to the site in reusable pallets, weighing approximately 1,700 pounds, enough for 288 square feet of runway. Individual sections are handled easily by two men and laid in an interlocking brick-like pattern. Lock bars prevent end deflection and provide an almost indestructible joint. Half mats included in each pallet allow flush edges at the end of each row. Adaptation of the F-104 to the new system involved installation of a conventional tail hook, positioned to avoid contact with the plane's ventral fin. Components necessary to the modification are included in a kit, manufactured and installed by the Lockheed California Company. Following arrestment tests taxiing at full engagement speed, 160 knots, the F-104 was flown through several touch-and-go passes at the new strip. Then cleared for an arrested landing. A one and three quarter degree glide slope. Gross landing weight, 18,500 pounds. Sink rate, nine feet per second. In subsequent arrestment tests to develop pilot technique, instrumentation on the ground and in the aircraft confirmed engineering expectations. Neither the 35,000 pound impact weight of the aircraft nor that of the tail hook caused mat damage of any significance. This cutaway view shows that even the one wheel impact of a heavier aircraft with an extreme sink rate failed to damage the mat structurally. Strength of the units designed and manufactured by Harvey Aluminum Company is achieved by one piece construction extruded from a single aluminum billet. The only weldments in the units, the end caps, make each section watertight, providing usable flotation qualities and allowing runway construction even in swamp-like areas.
unique joint design minimizes seepage onto the runway surface, yet permits expansion and contraction caused by temperature changes. Individual mats within the runway can be easily removed and replaced through strategically located key lock sections. Extensive trials at Navy, Marine, and Army testing facilities have shown the mats to exceed requirements for a smooth, rapidly emplaced airfield surface, resistant to impact and rolling loads of current fighter aircraft over a wide range of subsurface conditions. With this tailhook modification of the F-104 and launch capability on the strip, the two achieve major significance in the airborne arsenal of the free world. Each with the other provides increased tactical support, the capability of an airstrike from anywhere.